Hey guys. Now, possibly I'm the wrong person to be doing this review because I've never owned Apple AirPods. I've never used them. Um, so I can't really make any actual comparison. But when I saw you could get effectively fake versions for £11.49 on eBay, I thought, just give it a go, see what they're like. Um, and here they are. And again, I've never owned AirPods, so I'm not sure how similar that looks to the real thing. But uh, I just thought, I mean, how good or bad can they be for £11.49? So let's start off by just taking a look at what you do get in the box. So here we are, they're actually called i12 look, and you can see these are the upgrade. They're not upgraded, they're upgrade, according to the little red sticker there. They also come in five different colours, you can see on the back. But let's go ahead and open up the box to see um, what we've got inside. And straight away it kind of is a little rattly, it's not the greatest of fits. <laughs> it doesn't ooze quality, which you wouldn't necessarily expect at the price point. The next thing to notice, it is a lightning connector that's going to charge the box. There are Chinese instructions, but on the back are English instructions, so all is good there. And you can see here the five colours again that they're available in. Let's go ahead and uh, unwrap the actual case. And again, it, it does feel, a, you, you know, they do feel cheap. I'm not going to lie. You're not going to you're not going to trick anybody, I don't think, that these are expensive. Having said that, I've not felt the real AirPods, but I'm assuming they feel a bit more substantive than these do. Um, they don't necessarily snap into place, but there is a magnet that kind of pulls them in, as there is with the lid. There's a button on the back, which I've not entirely figured out what it does, if I'm honest. Um, but I think they look they look quite nice. They look pretty good, I would say. If you just showed them to somebody, they might be impressed. I don't know. Um, they go into the air sort of quite easily, slip in very, very uh, simply. So I guess it's time to, to hit the road, really. I did have some problems pairing them, though, to my OnePlus 7 Pro in that I kind of connected them both individually, but when I did that, I could only play sound through whichever one I activated. So I put them back into the case, and I, whichever one was connected at the time, I told the OnePlus to forget that. And when I pulled them back out again, I could hear them both then saying they were connected, and all of a sudden I could hear music and sound through both of the um, ear earbuds. So I'm not quite sure what I did wrong, but it, I got there in the end, I suppose. Um, as you did see, it charged with the lightning connector, so I guess they're assuming only iPhone owners are going to want these. Um, okay, I mean, thankfully I've got an, a work iPad, so I do have a charger that I can use. I mean, it, obviously you get the cable with it, so you can just plug, charge it from your from your computer or anything with a USB port. Um, obviously, so I use them to jog to the gym, as you can see, uh, and I had no problems. They don't have the tightest of fit in the air, which I guess is why they slip in and out so easily. But at the same time, at no point did I, I guess maybe because they're so light, I wasn't worried that they might fall out. They, they seem to be fine. There are touch controls on the buds, um, including activating Siri. I've got to be honest, the, the controls were quite confusing. I mean, you can read them here, see if you can understand them better than me. I mean, basically, triple tap seems to change the volume, double tap was to skip back and forward, and single tap would pause it, which, fine, that's fairly standard, I think. Uh, I did find that I would accidentally touch the controls when adjusting the earbuds in my ear, though. Sound quality is not good. Um, it's a little tinny, there's not much bass partially because there's nothing to actually hold them in. So if I held the stem bit of the bud and kind of pressed it into my ear, it sounded better. Not that they fell out, they're just not that tight. So there's plenty of sound leak from things uh, going on outside, which kind of interfered with what you're trying to listen to. Then there's the battery. They claim two to three hours. Now I reckon I used them for maybe an hour and a half and then just, they, <laughs> they gave me a warning and 30 seconds later just died. Well, at least one of them died. Luckily, I'd taken along my Jabra's as kind of support, so I used them for the jog home, basically. So all in all, I mean, you can't go too far wrong for 1149. I'm thinking I might keep them as kind of emergency ones. I'll keep them in my gym bag just for in case I forget my earbuds one day. Um, but they're not great. I don't think you would choose to use them as your everyday earphones, unless literally you're stuck to a budget of around a tenner. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon. Well done for making it all the way to the end of the video. Please do give it a thumbs up and um, leave a comment as well. I promise I'll read every single comment on all of my videos, so do leave a comment too. If you haven't already, subscribe, click that bell icon to make sure you're notified anytime I upload something new. Perhaps most importantly, just share my videos, be it social media, be it forums, 
just put them on put them online for people to watch if you want to go that one step further there are links in the video description to my patreon and also buy me a coffee just a few extra pound a month would help me make more videos um, also of course don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel i'll uh, see you all in the next one